Hey everybody, this is Sandra with Daily Dose of Sparkle. Welcome back for another Beauty by S moment. Today, I am going to show you how I color my eyebrows. Um, so I'm gonna come in a little close, you can see. See how like my eyebrows just definitely look like they have balding spots? Well, they don't. I just have really light eyebrows. So a girlfriend of mine, need to get the hair out of the way, a girlfriend of mine told me, to use beard touch-up, and this is really great because when you think about it, guys use it on their face and doesn't stain it, so using it on your eyebrows, same type of concept. Only thing is you do have to touch them up every couple of weeks. It fades pretty quickly, but not that bad. So it comes inside with a couple of tubes. One is the color, one's the developer, and I'm using the light medium brown because you could see how light my hair is, and I don't want to get too dark. That's just not the look I'm going after. Um, I start with some Vaseline. So I use it, you can or you don't have to, on the lower section. So I'm looking in the mirror over here. Just put it underneath and then I put it on top. I just don't want the color to discolor like outside of my bra. My bra, my bra, yeah, my brow. And um, it normally really doesn't. I've done it actually without Vaseline before and it wasn't so bad. One time it stained my skin and it made me look like I had like a crazy brow. It was like just this, like it looked like one was so much higher, but um, it washed off the next day. So it's really not that big of a deal, but if I can prevent it, why not? So, a little more Vaseline here, and I'm gooping it on there. Okay, I'm trying to do this. I'm actually probably doing it the wrong way so you cannot see. So there it is. I have Vaseline on top and underneath the brow on both eyes. Done with that. Now this little guy, I'm gonna show you. So you take your oop, two products in your little case, and all you do is just a dab of each. You don't need a lot. I mean, your eyebrows are tiny. So I'm gonna put in a dot, there it is. So a dot of the color, and then a dot of what I'm calling the developer. So same size, same quantity, there it is. All right, easy. I mean, that's all there is to it. And you take your fancy little applicator, just mush the colors together. So blend it, blend it, mix it until it's combined. So it's not white or brown. The whole thing should be kind of like a caramelly color. If you're going in a deeper color, you'll see. You'll know when they're combined. So like right now, I'm almost there. And I'm looking down to make sure I don't screw this up and then have some sort of a weird coloring on my eyebrows. All right, that's it, all combined. So take this part and wipe it off. I normally get a paper towel I'm gonna show you the removal of this today with the towel instead of washing my face. That's why I'm using black. So if it does get discolored, who cares? But it's not gonna show the brown coming off. So you'll see how dark these get. Here's your applicator brush. You get the brush well covered and make sure you get it on all sides. And then you just brush it into your brow. How easy is that? So here we go. I'm starting from the inner corner and I'm just working my way out. So I'm gonna turn just so I don't goof this up. And then I'm gonna turn toward you. And all you do is just brush it up and into the brow. So just get it in there, comb them up. I really try to kind of also dab to get all of those little blonde hairs. And toward the end, get in there. Get it nice and saturated to catch every single little hair that needs coloring. That's it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So I start on the outer corner, get it all in there, brush it upward and out. So up and out till it's all covered. There it goes. So I'm doing a really good job to make sure I'm saturating. Now that's this part of the um, brush. So you could just dip, dip and get a little more in there if you need it. ta -da. All the sides are done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing opposite side to get this corner. 
that's it that is it for your brows that's how you add the color in there now you'll notice this one's already starting to get dark timing on this is five minutes so i'm gonna hang out for five minutes looking all cute and then i'm gonna show you what these look like and we'll take it off so brows brows here we come So what do you think? Check him out. <laughs> a little creepy, right? So I'm looking like Groucho Marx. This is just about five minutes. A couple, like 30 seconds short of that because I knew I was going to talk you through this. I have a black towel that I've wet. Now we're going to go ahead and take this off. And if I did this well enough with a Vaseline, it'll look perfect. Now the residual remaining on your skin you can go ahead and take take off with a face wash or when you wash your face. Don't freak out if it looks a little bit discolored So, or if your brows appear uneven. It's probably just the dye. So think about this. It's, oops, oh, throwing stuff around. So if you think about this, this is just for men and guys use this on their beards. And if they don't walk around looking all weird and tinted, you won't either. Okay. I put a little bit of a um, face wash on my towel. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and wipe that off. Now I'm gonna wipe this one off as well with that part. And now I'm gonna fold the towel and clean it with clean part. So I'm doing this, just staring at the camera and I am taking some of my makeup off and who cares? Here we go. Get the edges. Like I said, you should be doing this like when you're washing your face. There it is. Um, a little bit on the edge here for sure is discolored. Now if I look straight at you, let me look straight, it looks okay. This one tends, looks a smidge bit higher and I can see there's a little bit of dye on my skin that'll come off tonight when I wash my face and I'm not worried about it. But that's it. Right there, I have just colored my brows. And they are definitely more defined. So especially like if you look here, I used to have like that bald spot. Well, it's not bald. It was just super blonde hair. And now they're all filled in. So my brows are a little more defined. I don't have to sit there and do the pencil. Love it, love it. If I want a more dramatic look, use the pencil and I go forward. So remember, you keep all of your stuff. So wash your tray, wash your brush and your products. Now, if you look at these little tubes, I've done this probably about five or six times already. So this is probably gonna last about a year. Eight or so dollars at CVS is where I got it. If you go to like Bed Bath & Beyond and use your 20% coupon, even cheaper. A box like this is gonna last you a long time. You can have killer brows. So this was light to medium brown, just so you could kind of gauge and see what the color is. My mom is the same hair color as me. She uses medium brown. So there's the barometer. Little Vaseline and you're set. So I hope you tried. If you're looking for a quick DIY brows, easy peasy beard touch up. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you try the product and uh, follow me on Instagram at Sparkle by S. Check out all my other YouTube videos and my blog at dailydoseofsparkle.com. And until the next time, be awesome and sparkle. See you soon.